Hello and good morning Dr. Craig and classmates. I hope you are all doing well. Now this morning, I'll be presenting statistical data from a dissertation sample I found on the internet. I'll explain la later why and how this statistical information is used in the thesis or a dissertation. Okay, it would be extremely difficult to make decisions based on data collected during a research project without the use of statistics. Okay, now similar to my chosen sample this morning, it contains various terms, variables, tables, and graphs. Now, with the knowledge gained from studying statistics, we will be able to accurately explain and interpret all the data being collected and gathered through research project. Now, let's move on to the second slide. Okay, So, we have here the definitions of terms. We have at least three statistics, parameter, and statistic. Okay, So, statistics... It is the science concerned with developing and studying methods for collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and presenting empirical data. Or when we say empirical data, these are informations found through research. Okay. Now next, we have parameter. Uh, it is a number describing a whole population or it is a data collected from the entire population. For example, all registered voter students in the year 2022 at Negros Oriental State University. Next, we have statistics. Um, statistics are data collected from a sample of the group being studied. For example, uh, we can have all registered voters students in the College of Arts and Sciences in the year 2022 at Negros Oriental State University. Okay, now let's move on to the next slide. Here is my chosen thesis paper entitled Effect of Modular Distance Learning Approach to Academic Performance in Mathematics of Students in Mindanao State University, Sulu, senior high school amidst COVID-19 pandemic and the researcher or the author of this paper is Jainaline Anong Aksan. Okay? Now based on the abstract presented, this study investigated the instructional competencies of teachers in the existence of COVID-19 pandemic and it brought extraordinary challenges to the stakeholders, uh, the teachers, parents, and students. The researcher believed that there is an effect of teaching learning process in new normal education to students' performance, most especially using modular type of learning in mathematics. Now, the researcher gathered 178 grade 11 STEM students currently enrolled in Mindanao State University Sulu Senior High School through the use of purposive random sampling. Now, she also applied in her study the survey questionnaire and mean frequency counts and percentage t-test for independent samples, one-way analysis of variance or ANOVA, and person product moment correlations were used to analyze and interpret the data being collected. Okay, now let's focus on the research design of this dissertation. Now, this study used descriptive research design in order to test the hypothesis and systematically analyze the data about the perceived effect of modular approach to academic performance in mathematics. Now, this study was conducted in the premises of Mindanao State University, Sulu, specifically in senior high school department. And again, there were 
178 respondents of this research okay and these were the students who were enrolled in the aforementioned school in the year 2020 to 2021 okay and the researcher chose three out of five sections um, in grade 11 stem strand students now the researcher also used survey questionnaire in this study in order to collect facts and also opinions of the respondents about the study because the researcher wanted to know the perceived effect of modular approach of the students okay next the questionnaire made by researcher consists of four parts first part was demographic profile of the respondents uh, later or in this dissertation the researcher actually gave and showcase uh, some graphs and tables okay the second part was to determine the perception of the students regarding modular distance learning approach in mathematics next um, next part was the challenges of the students towards modular distance learning approach in mathematics and lastly um, the last part was uh, the perceived effect of modular distance learning approach to academic performance of grade 11 STEM strand students in mathematics. Now, for the sampling procedure, the researcher used the sampling design of non-random sampling, which was purposive random sampling. And again, the respondents were 178 students from three sections, namely STEM 1, Freud, STEM 2, Chung, and STEM 4, Adler. Okay, now, um, in our task this morning, we are going to um, assess or check the statistical treatment of any uh, or of a chosen, rather, dissertation or thesis now in my case the statistical tools that the researcher used in this study were the following first the mean for the research statements of what is the perception of the students regarding modular distance learning approach in mathematics or mdla okay another question what are the challenges of the students towards modular distance learning approach in mathematics and what is the effect of modular distance learning approach to academic performance as perceived by grade 11 stem strand students in mathematics aside from mean uh, we also have another statistical tools used by the researcher we have frequency counts and percentage and also mean these were used for answering in the statement of what is the level of academic performance of students in mathematics using modular distance learning approach and for the statement of i quote is there a significant difference on perception of the students towards modular distance learning approach in mathematics when grouped according to their gender and the tool, statistical tool, that being used was the t-test for independent samples. Now, um, another statement, I quote, is there a significant difference on perception of the students toward modular distance learning approach in mathematics when grouped according to their age? And that tool that was used um, was the one-way analysis of variance and lastly for the question or statement is there a relationship of students perception regarding modular distance learning approach to their academic performance in mathematics um, the researcher used this statistical tool person product moment correlation okay now based on the conclusion overall findings of the researcher based on the result the study revealed that students perception perceptions 
agreed on using Modular Distance Learning Approach or MDLA. Uh, it means that according to the researcher, it means that the students had positive perceptions regarding Modular Distance Learning Approach in Mathematics. And the study also revealed that students agreed on using modular distance learning approach in math have little challenges, okay? And it had also a positive effect to students' performance in which students perform very satisfactory in mathematics, which means they had good quality performance. However, the researcher further, um, furtherly added the study also revealed that it has no significant difference on their perceptions when they are grouped by gender and age, which means the students had the same perception. Okay, and that would be all for my chosen uh, research uh, topic.